It is now 6.38 in the morning. Show you my van right here. Just pulled up at this park to use the bathroom and chill out for a little bit. But uh, I think this is gonna be my first uh, daily vlog for you all. I figured I would just go ahead and start this daily vlog now because I'm actually like doing something today. Uh, yesterday I didn't have any work. Today they already told me they're probably not going to have any work. Uh, so I think I may just not even go in today because um, I already have plans. I'm supposed to be going to this one hill with a friend from work and then uh, meeting up with the couple that had that one van last week. And so, yeah, I think you may just hang out today and uh, enjoy the day. So I'm going to take you all along for that. And yeah, here we go. Can you all see me? Maybe a little. So it's probably like, I don't know, 730 now. So sun's starting to come up. That's a little bit of light that's coming through. And I'm just laying here uh, reading my book, waiting on a text to... Uh, Head out to meet my friend. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to do. I gotta get used to recording daily, just daily vlogs. So I don't know, like, all oh, what I should record. <laughs> so I gotta get used to this. But yeah, like I said, I'm just reading my book, chilling. Y'all feel ever seeing me looking crazy, but whatever. You know how I feel about that. Yeah, so my friend or the co-worker that I was going out with today to go to this one place, uh, he's not going to go now because it's like really cloudy and a bit chilly. Um, so it's not the best day to go up there and check that out. So we're going to wait till it's like a really nice day. But I'm still planning on going to this lunch with that one couple with the van. So that will be pretty cool. And I just got the text message that, surprise, mandatory time off today. <laughs> so I get to chill a bit more there. Uh, that'll be cool. And um, like I said, my goal this week is to put stuff up for sale and whatnot. And I've only put one thing up so far. And I've just been laying around all day today, <laughs> like I said. Um, but uh, after that, my plan is to put a lot of my stuff online for sale. So like have a, a box down here with like some of my personal stuff in there as well as like the books that I want to read that I pulled out of all the books that I have here there's a bunch of books in there uh, this is just a, a box full of my random stuff that I had to bring out here with me uh, my crate over here have like DVDs and games and stuff and more books <laughs> uh, and again just more stuff for me to sell online um, so that's the goal is just to get all that stuff listed online in the different places yeah, try and get this all sold. Uh, if it's not sold by next week, it's all just going to go on Craigslist, maybe for like a lot price. See if I could do that. Because um, I just want to get it out of here at this point. And that's why I put it all in here. I put it all in here yesterday because if it's in my way, I'm going to do something about it. If it's out of my way, I'm just going to keep putting it off, you know, out of sight, out of mind. So now that's in sight, you know, that's on my bed in the way. This box was on the floor, so it's just been in my way. So I'm going to make sure that I do something about it. So yeah, that's the plan. I'll be doing some of this later today. And then tomorrow, continuing that. Uh, and if I get the message again tomorrow about work, which I hope not, because I at least want to get one day of work in. Uh, but if so, I'm going to head back out into the desert uh, where I'm staying at. And I'll probably put in a few more hours there just to, to top things off. Um, and also to get a head start on next week. Because like I just don't want to have to have to do anything this weekend uh, I just want to just go with the flow and same thing going into next week uh, just getting myself prepared to uh, have a little vacay slash maybe just venturing out again who knows we'll see what happens uh, with everything that's going on in my life yeah I'm just I'm still at this park like I said I've been laying around all day um, it's just been cloudy a little chilly so it's one of those days that it's nice to lay around and uh I think I'm going to head over and use the bathroom. There's, like, people playing baseball over here, like, older people, adults. It's just crazy. It's, like, like 1130. But I guess it's still the holiday season, so 
people can do that. I don't know. Um, so they've been doing that like all morning long. Like since it became daylight, they've been over there and they're like taking it serious too. But um, yeah, just gonna use the bathroom, take my book, try and find a place to to sit and read maybe, or just come back to the van and do that. And then about that time, it'll be time for me to go have lunch. And yeah, hopefully get some stuff done, be productive. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um oh yeah and i succeeded i think that's the right word succeeded past my goal um of a certain amount saved while i was here and again like my plans were just to stay here for a little while in the first place and i've went past that a little bit than kind of what i wanted to and this was about the time that i was gonna head out again like my second readjustment to my plans um but I've, I've went past uh, the goal that I had set, which is very good. Um, and like I said, I'd rather have worked this week to make some more money to put that towards other things. But whatever. I'm just going to enjoy it. Uh, and we're going to see what happens. Maybe I'll have a few days next week to work to have a little money in my pocket. All right. Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, like I said, I'm going to do my little thing around here. And then go to that lunch and we're gonna see how that goes so i guess i will see you all then whoa before we go to lunch i just wanted to tell you all about last night so last night i was trying to park at this one hospital and i went to the parking garage and well i went to pull in there and as i was going to pull in i see that it said seven feet was a clearance and it had like the little bubble thing uh, that hits your vehicle if you're over that and uh, there was a car right behind me, and it was one of those cars that was, like, right up on your tail. You can't do anything else because they're right on you, probably fussing at you. Uh, <laughs> and so I hit the bubble thing, so I knew I was definitely over seven feet. Uh, and there was, like, nowhere to go except up going up into the parking thing. Uh, but the parking sign at the top, I already knew that was, like, seven feet. And if I would have went either direction... The cement was probably seven feet. Like, it was close to that. And I did not want to rip the top of my van off or the solar panel off. <laughs> so, I kind of went the opposite, like, pointed the opposite direction of the way you're supposed to go to get let that car go past me. And that car still was just, like, on my tail. So, I, like, inched forward a little bit more. And finally, like, sitting there for a little bit, he went around me. It's ridiculous. Um, but I had to, like, do, like, a... I don't know how many point. I want to say 10 point turn, but it was probably like four point turn uh, to back up and then go back down and out of there. But uh, I, was a little, I was a little nervous there because uh, I didn't want to rip the top of my van off and I couldn't really see, you know, the back top half when I'm backing up and the cement is right there, the roof part of the parking garage. So, yeah, that was a little nerve wracking. And then, like, I couldn't find parking. Um... I looked on the map and found this one Walmart, but it was a neighborhood Walmart. And I just was going to stop there to figure out what I was going to do. And then the security person kept, like, circling me and then parked right in front of me. And was just sitting there. And I'm, like, still sitting up front. Like, I didn't get it back or anything like that. I'm just sitting up front looking at my phone for a while. And they just sat there. And I'm like, what the heck? So, uh, yeah, I finally just went back to a place where I knew that nobody really bothers you. Nobody really cares if you're there and just stayed there. And then, of course, you know, in the morning, came to the park and uh, been laying around, went back to sleep when I got here. But, yeah, I just want to share my little hospital parking garage thing with you all. So if you have a high top van or anything tall, just be careful. Pay attention to the those things. And uh, you may get on somebody's nerves for being slow or in the way, but whatever, because they're not going to pay for your uh, repairs on your vehicle. So <laughs> it is what it is. But yeah, I, th I felt like there was something else. Oh yeah, I just wanted to say that like this is why I don't like being in the city a lot. Uh, I don't like trying to stealth camp in the city. It's just too nerve wracking and, and just too much driving around to find a, sp a spot to park just to sleep. Um, I don't like it. Uh, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So if you're in that situation, but when it's my choice, uh, I'd rather be out closer to nature away from a lot of people that want to harm you or feel like you're doing something wrong just for parking somewhere but uh yeah I just it's not my thing it's not why I got into van dwelling 
although it's um, a plus side because most RVs you can't park everywhere, vans you can, but uh, I still would prefer not to park in the city. It's just too much, too much headache just to go to sleep, like I said. So, yeah, just my thinking on that. So, okay, we're gonna try this one more time. We're going to lunch now. Here we go. Okay, I lied once again. I'm not at lunch yet. <laughs> I'm running late actually because I was reading my book. And then I got distracted because this van pulled up and like some kids and stuff got out and they were like cussing up a storm, like screaming it out. Like just, just <laughs> it was pretty crazy. And then I was like, well, they have to have like Tourette's or something because there's no other excuse for that. And yeah, it is. It's like a, a disabled van, like a program or something. I don't know. But a few of them had gotten out. But uh, I'm ign ignorant on that, but I'm just, I've seen people with Tourette's and stuff. And my question is like, how do they know cuss words? And that's like the main thing that they really yell out. Or, or maybe it's just some people with Tourette's. I don't know. I'm ignorant. So if anybody knows anything about that, let me know. Um, but yeah, it's pretty wild. Cause like one of the little boys looked probably like seven, maybe another one was probably like 10. And they were just, <laughs> just yelling it out. And like, it was pretty wild. And then I looked down and I'm like, dang, I got 30 minutes to get ready and then get out there. So that's what I'm doing now, pulling up uh, the GPS and about to head to this lunch. So now we're going to lunch. <laughs> So I just left uh, lunch, I guess it would be called, lunch uh, with the couple from the van that I showed you you all last week, uh, the Galvanters. Uh, really cool people. We had a good time and uh, we stayed there a while because like I said, I don't have to work tonight. So we just chilled for a while. Um, so it was good. Good times. Uh, thank you all to that those two. Um, thank you so much. I had a good time. Enjoyed myself. And uh, can't wait to hang out again some more at another time. Um, but yeah, so right now I just uh, pulled up at a park. And I'm just going to chill here for a minute. That'll be about it for tonight because I'm going to edit this and uh, get this up for you all. So yeah, that's what's going on around these parts. Thank you for sticking around. If this is the end for today, my hair is really looking crazy right now. But yeah, thank you all for sticking around and uh, I will see you all later.